Hello everyone! I am too tired to make this video today because setting up this camera and lights is too hard for me. I'm an empty nester and all my IT support has moved out. So, okay. Welcome back. Haven't seen you for nearly a week and I'll tell you why in a few minutes. But first, I wanted to tell you that my cells have been down. Hopefully yours haven't been down, um, but from what I hear, it's across the board, across America. So that's the time we're in. And it doesn't make sense really because I have been supporting Posh a little too much. And um, some things for my closet to sell, but mainly for my personal closet. And also some crazy buys. So I wanted to show them to you and uh, I'm going to link below their closets um, so you can support them too. Um, I'm not um, sponsored in any way. I just wanted to share love and uh, show you what I got. Okay. The first thing is one I something I wore in a previous video. It is from Lori's Boston Found and I love this. It's like a cover up really because um, it's so oversized, but I love it. Look at this. It's like a really thin cotton. It is um, not a really known brand. I'm not sure. Don't look at my manicure because no more manicures. I know that's spoiled, but there we go. Okay. Love this. Love the colors. Love it. And ready? I had my eye on this for a long time. I liked it and I just never pulled the trigger on it because I'm not really a, a crew neck t-shirt girl. I I don't feel comfortable in them, but this I loved because I, my alter ego is Lady Gaga. Love her. Love this shirt. Finally, I just pulled the trigger on it. <coughs> that is not the Corona. That is the pollen outside. I had to go out earlier. I took something to someone, left it on their porch, but everywhere in Texas here right now, or at least in this area, are the tassels and everything's green. So maybe it's like that where you are, but it just is too much. So anyway, Lady Gaga. Love this shirt, love it so much. I did get another t-shirt. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it is because it's political. But um, I had to have it, so I bought that also. Uh, this this shirt now, I messed it up in the laundry. Uh, now the sleeves that are were white are red, and I don't know how that happened, but I had to have this because it says, God shed his light on thee. No, not light, grace. God shed his grace on thee. And so I thought that would be cute for 4th of July. But because of this, now these sleeves are pink, but I still might wear it because it's so cute for 4th of July. Usually the 4th of July is a million degrees hot, so I'll probably just be in a bathing suit. So, and speaking of bathing suits, this one I'm probably going to sell. I'm not really, I like tankinis the best. I'm not really into one pieces, and this is, uh, this is Eloqui. Look. It's kind of a cross. I think it crosses in the front, which is really sexy. And it has adjustable straps. And let's see. Eloquy. Very nice. And this looks like, like new. In fact, you know, this is kind of gross, but Sometimes bathing suits, um, when you're thrifting, they still have, they may not have that plastic thing down here, down there, but they have a residue from that plastic thing. And so that is gross, but at least they're like new. So I don't know why I said that. Maybe I'll delete it if I could figure out how to edit it. So I got a lot of uh, separates. I got some uh, Victoria's Secret bottoms. Like these, this fold over. I like the fold over bikini bottom. And this, look at this side of this. These are the sides of the bottoms. This isn't any great, this is just exhilaration, this one. But 
but I like this. Sexy. Another fold over, but look, look at this color. Love it. Jones, New York. And this stripe one is very cute. Very cute. And I'm going to say this. I have a bathing suit obsession. I, ha I do have a pool and I like to keep suits at my house for any person that comes to my house so I can say, you want to go swim? Oh, I didn't bring my suit. Well, here you go. Here's a suit. No excuses now. So I do have a lot of suits, but I also love to resell sh suits and um, I have a lot of them on my, my Poshmark and um, on, do I have any on eBay? No, but I should. Why don't I? I do pretty well on eBay. So I don't know, but um, definitely I have a lot still to list, a lot of separates and a couple other pieces. I have some Land's End bottoms that look like new. Okay, this cute skirt, little skirt, cute, roughly girly, cute. I may be listing some of these because how many bottoms, bathing suit bottoms do you need? And bathing suits in general. So the cutest thing is this. Ready? Oh, the straps. I need to fix the straps. Look at this. Does this look like Lady Gaga would wear? <clears throat> the straps are off, but it does have straps. You can wear it strapless or with the strap here. Love. This is a little bit big for me. I don't care because this seems very Lady Gaga. So fun. It's kind of, to me, almost like a 80s vibe. It is unique vintage swim. I'm very bad at that. So that's fun. So that's why I've been supporting Posh. And um, let me show you a couple crazy things I bought. I don't know why. I just thought, oh, I bet somebody will love that. So I had to have it. I need to calm down with some of my crazy buys. You ready? I hope I got to fix this one needs a little love, but rainbow bright. Who loves rainbow bright? I don't think the comps are great. I didn't do my research. I just went with my heart and that's not a good business thing, but look at her. I'm going to clean her up. I'm going to try to fix her, give her a little fix on her hair. So I also have did you have these when you were little I did so these are a gorgeous actually they're really pretty these are really good and they're really good shape I'm gonna sell these together love it I'll probably list these in multiple places I have Howdy doody. Now, I am going to be honest. This is before my time. But I know people love this. And he also has a pool thing, but it's broke. It, it's broken. So I don't know why I got this. Other than memorabilia. This is by... I, I cannot tell. Ideal. Ideal Toys. Yes. And then I have four of these cute little Irish Beanie Babies. Four of them. I'll probably put them together for the beanie collectors or maybe I'll give them as a gift. So those are some of my crazy buys. I also ordered two things I haven't opened. So I thought maybe you want to open them with me. Okay. This could be scary. Could be fun. Okay. Okay. This was not coming open. So I'm going to open it here. Wish I had my scissors. I like my scissors better. I got a giant pack of scissors at Walmart and it was the cheapest scissors, like 10 for some crazy cheap amount, but they're not good. But I like to have scissors everywhere when you need a pair. So <clears throat> I do want to invest in some really good scissors. Okay, this shirt I had to have because sadly my honeymoon supposed to be the end of this month to Paris and Lake Como in Italy and uh, 
So obviously that's not happening, but um, it will be rescheduled for some time. I don't know when, but I have longer to learn French. Parli italiano un po', ma I speak some Italian, not that much, so I'm trying to learn again. But I ordered this shirt. I'm gonna show you, here it is. Simple, clean, style finds. Oh, that's so nice. She has a nice sticker. It says, simple, clean, style finds. Thank you so much for your purchase. Should you have any concerns about your order, please contact me first. I'll do my best to make things right. Hmm, Sandra B. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Okay. Oh, this bag is also not, am I just, have I lost my strength? Okay. Ready for this shirt? I fell in love with Paris. So I'm going to wear this on the plane home from my honeymoon. I thought it was so super cute. Love it. It's just old navy, but I love it. Love it. And this one, I do have one of this brand that I was going to list, but I realized this bag that mine was missing a strap. And uh, that's what I get for uh, not really checking things out in the store. But I fell in love with it, actually. And I thought, maybe I'll just look and see what else there is out, you know. And so, this is called, this is, uh, hmm, well, this one's not authentic, but Patrizia Luca. Anyway, cute geo bag. Love it. This is just a cute little fun little bag if you're going to go out. And actually it is Patrizia Luca. It is authentic. It's just usually on the tag. So anyway, I'll have to research that. Look, love it. And I shouldn't have said that because it is, I feel bad. So this is super cute. Mine that I have is orange, like a neon orange, which is cool, but it's missing this wristlet and this chain. So I thought it was a makeup bag. And then I realized it had little, the little hooks, the little rings here to make it a, a shoulder bag. <clears throat> so anyway, love this. I don't know if I'll be parting with this because it's, it's kind of fun. So, and I do have a bag obsession. So the last thing I want to tell you really fast before I go is why I haven't seen you in a week. It's not that I haven't cared about you. It's just that last Saturday when I was working on a video for you, I got a notification that one of my posh purchases was here. Oh, I should have shown you that one. Okay. Well, I'll show you next time. But <clears throat> I went out to get it and there was a family walking by and as I was getting my mail and I was chatting with them, a mom, dad, two kids, and just chatting with them, got my mail turned around to go into my house and I fell on my front walk. It's kind of that gravelly cement gravel, you know, and I hurt myself. I didn't break anything, but I skinned up my both knees, hurt my left toe, but my right toe, it, oh, very, hope you're sitting down. I ripped like a big portion of my big toenail off. And so like, seriously, that's all I need. Like, is it not enough for quarantined? So I just was traumatized by falling because I do have a weird PTSD about falling. That's a long story. Used to be with the fire department. Had to fall down some stairs. Then I tripped over a dog, broke my shoulder. I have too many. I'm just clumsy. So it kind of just made me bummed out. You know, like my toe was hurting and was just bummed me out the whole thing but um I've definitely kept working but I just kind of have not been working as hard and not as motivated and so <clears throat> I did want to get back with you guys and chat try to lift you up I would love to hear your story like your comments and what you're doing now 
what your thoughts are now, what your thoughts for the future. Um, I have been working through all of my inventory because I do have some, I have quite a bit. Um, it's, it's nothing amazing, it's spread and butter, but I've been trying to work through that and also get rid of the stuff that is just not worth my time. But um, I care about you guys and I care about this community. I care about our country. I care about our people and I really want to encourage you. Just stay home. Like, there's nothing that you really need except maybe toilet paper. Hopefully you have it. But try to reach out to somebody who can leave it at your front door. Try to, you know, exchange with somebody. Um, somebody brought me some mayo. Um, I just made a, made a joke and they brought me some mayo. And that way you're not going to the store. Um, and I just think you're lowering your exposure, other people's exposure. Remember that people can be asymptomatic before they find out they have coronavirus or even with coronavirus, they test positive, they were asymptomatic. So just know that you don't know if you have it or if somebody else has it often. And we don't want to expose other people to it. So just stay home. Please stay home. Stay safe. Don't touch your face when you're out. Don't, don't, don't touch things in the touch your face. So, but we are all going to be okay. We're going to get through this. We're going to come back. Our economy is going to come back. And I believe it's going to come back in a really strong way. There will be a lot of loss of life. There'll be loss of business. It will be... This is a huge change. This is life changes for everyone. And uh, we're going to get through it. So fellow thrifters, we will get back to the bins. We will get back to Goodwill, Savers, all of our places. We will get back to going through the wrecks soon enough. But let's support each other if we can. Love you guys. See you soon.